WACJ was founded in 1975. At that time, it was only a 10 watt station. And so I think it was in 19, in the early 90s, um, there was a grant written to expand the wattage to 6,000 watts. And so um, it was also in a dorm that's no longer on campus, um, call it, I think it was Wright Hall. And so what happened is towards the mid 90s, the radio station was moved over here in Hodge Hall, which which WACJ shared the building with admissions. And then in 2008, Mr. Carter and I wrote a grant um, to expand the radio station even further. And by this time, admissions had moved to Hill Hall, and so we were able to take over the whole building. And um, during, from 2008 into this present time, we were able to create a low-power radio station, which is WSSU, which is completely student-run. And Mr. Carter and I only are the only two staff here. And so at most radio stations, you have um, program director, music director, media content director. You also have advisors to other students. You also have a training director. Um, you have people that do all the administrative stuff. You know, I do all of that. My role here at WACJ is basically an intern. And I'm basically responsible to air two news segments, which is, which is Tiger Eye News. And I air that with my partner, Brakita Barrett, two times a day. I air it at 12 o'clock, and I also air it at 4 p.m. Majority of the time, I'm basically back here recording my um, show. I normally start my day with coming in, looking up my news, looking up my story, writing it down, and practicing with my partner before we go live or put it on the air. And then I also have office hours, which I do three hours a week, if I'm not mistaken. And I also have my own personal show that I air every week. My role here at WHCJ is I broadcast the Tiger Eye News at 12 o'clock and four o'clock with my co-host, Shamika Kemp. And we basically just give news, local, national, sports, entertainment news to our audience. One of the main ways that WACJ benefits students is that we provide them with the actual hands-on experience that they need in order to get into this world of radio. Because everybody, I think, I'm not sure if majority of the mass communication students are focusing on audio and visual, or is it, what is the, um, is it audio and television? Audio and video. Audio and video, okay. So um, it gives them the opportunity to get hands-on experience to understand how the radio station operates to understand how to become, we don't call people DJs, we call them programmers, how to be a programmer, how to program your own show, how to operate all of the equipment on the board. And um, we've had students that say by, because of the fact that they were able to even volunteer or become an intern here at the radio station, they were able to go to other places and get jobs. WACJ benefits students by allowing them, you know, the opportunity to, you know, get hands-on experience with technical production. A lot of us aren't familiar with how to, you know, use a console or, you know, record audio properly and efficiently. So WACJ does, you know, it allows students to explore that and they also allow students to be their own producers. Yeah, WACJ is one of the, the brightest spot of Savannah State University. Whenever you go out into the community and you talk about Savannah State University, most people say, oh, I like your radio station over there because we don't only broadcast to the campus we also broadcast to the Savannah community. WACJ is very important to the school because it gives students a voice. We can have our own radio shows and just talk about whatever comes to mind. WACJ is extremely important to Savannah State University. It is our radio station. It is a place for us to voice our opinions. It's a place for us to be ourselves and it's a place for us to come together as one.